cold, it's cold, it's cold. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna show you how a solar power system is built and installed in an off-grid home. Coming up. Today is the day. Finally we will have light. Yeah. Buenos días. Yeah. Hola. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Jose and Jose, father and son, are starting the job. It's gonna take a day more or less. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, we are used to work hard and build our own things, but this I time... Beautiful father and son working together. The son is below, sending up what he needs, and then they just cooperate this way. And since we are already on the roof, we wanted to show you something about our water system as well. This is a 700 liters water container that comes right from a spring in the mountains and sometimes there's a bit of soil ending up in our pipes but in general the water is really nice and drinkable so that is salvador he was the builder of the ceiling the roof and uh, we had a water loss Stay tuned because that's coming up in the next video. We are freezing. <laughs> Salvadore, Salvador, the man who restored the mill, came this morning and checked that it's okay, it's possible. What they are doing is uh, fine for the mill. They will do a small hole for a cable to pass and go into the house. And he said, possible. So in these coming days is when the things are happening for us <laughs> not really <laughs> so it's been about three weeks we're here and today they're doing the installation for the sun and on monday salvador the guy with the red jacket <laughs> is coming back because we had the water infiltrations last week we had to run away and, and there goes up the first panel Just wanted to take a second here to give credit to the part of the work which is not visible while Jose Senior is up there installing the panels. Down here you have Jose Junior installing the whole brain of the system. Estamos con en con una energía que dentro del total de todas las energías es la número uno ya que es la más renovable. Además se produce, se obtiene a través del sol. La verdad que que la gente no está tan concienciada, solo el 1% o 2% quizás del planeta Tierra obtiene esta energía. Y yo pienso que es más por el miedo que tienen o por el, por el precio que tiene. Es bastante asequible, la verdad. Y pensando que viene del sol, ¿por qué no ponérsela? Además...
work we did. <laughs> oof. For, oof, this last panel was hard to place, isn't it, Chiara? The part. <laughs> Something else that I've built almost immediately when we moved here was a home for the wood because I noticed that the temperature here drops significantly more than in other areas of Spain so we do need a reserve of wood. The problem with this now is that the sides here are not that strong so I want to strengthen them so I think they're about 50 kilos mm. they're heavier than Chiara <laughs> so maybe more than 50 yeah maybe more than 50 <laughs> I wouldn't do any acro with those guys the owner bought six of these batteries but he never used them so now we have six batteries that they don't work anymore but they they are new. <laughs> so as they're trying to make a hole through the wall inside, they figured that um, it was inside this step that they were drilling. So now they're excavating, making a hole to be able to catch the space and pass cable through there. Finally they managed to do the hole and the cable is passing here. It took way longer to make the hole than to actually put up the panels. Yeah. A few hours. Yeah. <laughs> Chiara just trying to look pretty. She does it, she does it, she is. So the six panels are up, and now the cable which is connecting them to the inverter is getting installed as well. Chiara in the need for cuteness. <laughs> this is the workshop where we have most of our utensils. We keep some wood and other stuff. But there's no light here, nor a plug for electricity or anything like that. So something else that these guys are doing is that they're gonna bring electricity from the panels in this room so that we can work here during the winter in this lovely window looking outside. <laughs> yeah. That's happening too. We just want to take a second to say thank you to Makita because Jose, father and son, thanks to this drill, they've been able to pass through a wall which was this wide, about 50 centimeters, with mountain stones which were hard. And yeah, they made it through. So thanks, Makita. If you want to send us some material, we're here. Jose is now opening the second lithium battery which is going into the system let's see what it looks like cables positive and negative oh wow that is a battery oh i'm charging yes sir. one yeah. oh. <laughs> yeah. And that was it for today's video. It feels really good to have light. It is something that makes a difference when you don't have it. But thank you so much for watching and keeping up with us. Please subscribe and like the video. It means the world to us. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Peace.